Alrighty, welcome to episode 44 of the Consistent Genius Podcast. Something a little different today. Uh, studio's out of commission this week. So we're in the original Consistent Genius studio. Bringing back Katie McAllister. She was on eight episodes ago, give or take, maybe nine. 36. 36? Like on episode 36. You are on 36? Yeah. What's today? 44. So yeah, nine episodes ago. Or I, I maybe can't eight. Do I don't know. All right, so... <laughs> We're just going to, you know, do a quick one today. Uh, Katie just graduated nursing school. I did. How was that? And Because I know a lot of, like, nurses that I graduated with, and they're, like, all going, you know, into that field. So what do you think was, like, the wildest thing that happened to you in your experiences? Because uh, you, like, worked in a hospital while you were in nursing school. I don't know. I mean, we were talking about it earlier. I got my hair pulled out of my head, like, a whole chunk of it. What was that? Friday, Thursday? Yeah. That's just like a normal day on neuro. So. So you work in like the neuro, which is brain. So like people that are fucked up. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) No. Uh, Like stroke, seizures. um, But we get back surgeries too. We're neurosurg. Okay. So So you got your hair ripped out. Yep. Just people get confused. And then you got hit one day, right? Whacked in the face with an IV pole. That was my first PCT job. Um, I actually don't remember. Oh, we were trying to get him back in the chair, and he got pissed, so he took the only thing closest to him and just, like, smacked me with it. No way. And it happened you to be an IV pole. No, I'm trying to lose my job. That's what the nurses' there's, union's There's for. no protection for nurses in I healthcare. S- I saw an article about how all nursing is trying to unionize right now. I kind of don't want that. Uh yeah, that you pay union fees. I know uh, no. Ethan Leary. He was on the podcast. He uh, he didn't like how Kroger would fuck him every paycheck and take out a certain. You get like four dollars an hour at Kroger. Yeah, but, <laughs> but union. yeah, like they would take more money out, and like the union obviously would never help. Just like a cashier, it's more for like, you know, like people right. that you know would get fired. And most well, cashiers, like if you don't mess up, you're not gonna get fired. Um, and that's like the same with nursing, like the job security i'm not gonna lose my job unless i do something really stupid but like ohio state is a union and you have like your union fees and then you also have to pay for parking i don't have to pay for parking you have to pay your own parking yeah and it's like kind of expensive lexi has to pay for parking too actually wow lexi towdy was on katie's last episode episode 36 also episode 36 but uh and there, what else? Oh, you can be mandated to work more. So, like, if you work 7A to 7 p.m., which is, like, a normal But you still get paid, right? Yeah, you still get paid. But, like, if you work 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and someone on the 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. shift calls off, they can mandate you to work until 11 p.m., even if you have to be back at 7 a.m. the next day. Because as long as you have, like, eight hours off, which, in nursing, like, you don't leave your shift on time. Yeah. Ever. But can't you sleep in those beds at the hospital? No. Yeah. No, you. The only time I've ever seen it happen was because there was a level two snow emergency, and the people that were working the day before, they like let them. They blocked two of the beds. No, no, no. The don't you have rooms that you can sleep in? If you're a physician. Oh, you can't sleep in those. No, they don't care about the nurses. Oh, okay. I see. I watched a lot of Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, in my it's day. not like Grey's Anatomy. Uh, no, we don't get on call. Rooms. Grey's Anatomy. Everybody's want, clapping cheeks, all right? You want to know what my on-call room is? What? My bed. Your bed? Yeah. Wow. I, have to get, I have to drive home for that shit. I don't get to just stay at the hospital. Wow. And then, so in a few weeks, you'll take, like, the nursing bar. So, like, lawyers take the bar exam. You'll take the, the board exam. The board exam. The NCLEX. So, if you fail, you got to wait six weeks, reapply. 45 days. 45 days? Yeah, Damn. 45 so, days. And then, but it shows up on your record, like, when so you go to apply. it could be, like, it could be detrimental. Yeah, so, like, if you're applying to a nursing position and there's someone who, like, graduated with the same GPA, served on the same, like, student council, member of, like, Sigma Theta, whatever, um, they'll see if you failed the NCLEX and then you might not get chosen for that job. Damn. But if I fail, it's fine because I already have a job, so. Yeah. So, <laughs> you, whatever. You're, so, for the past so long, you've been working as a... PCT. PCT. Patient care which technician. Which is kind of like a nurse. Nah. I mean, the only thing that I do that, like... So, with my job, a nurse can do everything that I do, but I obviously can't do everything a nurse can do. So, like, I just do, like, vitals and baths and... The baths. 
The fun part. <laughs> the very fun part. Getting people up to the bathroom, walking wow. in the hall. Yeah, it's like super this exciting stuff. Shit, I'm a right? professional ass wiper. Pretty much the Navy SEALs. Yes. Of our side. That's pretty cool. Some grunt work. Speaking of Navy SEALs, the other day we both encountered a movie, uh, Angel Has Fallen. Yeah. That was a pretty good movie. Wait, what does That's... that have to do with Navy SEALs? Because the guy was in the Special Forces. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I would recommend that movie to anyone like looking for a movie to watch, like. Recently, it's been the season of, like, shitty movies, you know, nothing really good. That's a really good one, and I still want to see uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I don't even know what that is. Leonardo DiCaprio, Tarantino's director. I directing. told you I don't watch movies. I didn't even know what movie that was the other night. Terrible. I don't know. Terrible. I just showed you the Star Wars trailer, because yes. Star Wars is coming out in 2020. And you're a Star Wars nerd. I love Star Wars. It's going to be great. Like, <laughs> they show Rey with, like, a red lightsaber, meaning, like, maybe she's turned to the dark side. Oh, no, you know? they wouldn't show that if she actually did that. I think They that would, not... though. That's how it is, you know? I don't know. So. I don't know. I'm hyped for it. It's going to be exciting. I can't wait to go when see it, honestly. Christmas? I think 20, December 2020. So, like, okay. think about it. It's kind of, like far away there's no, no way it's not really we, do you know how long we waited for game of thrones there's no way it's this year right no i don't think so no did you but, watch game of thrones of course i watched game of thrones yeah, are you kidding I me didn't know that. <laughs> yes you my whole ending? family watched it What'd together you think of the ending um i thought the whole last season was like lackluster like it was lackluster just... it was rushed for sure I yeah. don't know. They could have done it better. I, I didn't like it that much. It ended kind of how I thought it was without... I didn't think Danny was going to die. I thought... I had a feeling. My, like... The happy ending would be her and Jon Snow get married Aww. and they rule the okay, world. Okay, but the Red Wedding, like... The Red Wedding no. was crazy. Okay, so they would never end it, like, happy. Yeah, that just that's just happen. not George R.R. R. Martin. Well, he didn't even write the last season. I know. Well, yeah. he helped... Kind of. Yeah. Not really, though. I think they went, like, way off. I can't wait for him to release the last book. Have you read any of the books? No, I watched the uh, series, but so I want to read the, the last book. I want to read you. the last book because hopefully he had, like, a better ending than, than they did. Interesting, interesting. A lot of things that happened in the movie, or in the show, didn't happen in the book. Like, you know, like... Did you read the book? No, but, like, you <laughs> okay. know, like, when Sansa got raped? <laughs> that never happened because Sansa was still in the veil. Her and Ramsay never got married. So, like, that's, like, a pivotal thing because John fought Ramsay because of that. Well, that's kind of so, weird then because George R. R. Martin wrote the book and then he also wrote that episode. So he's just, like, contradicting himself there. I Not think contradicting, but... I was listening to, like, a podcast of him or something, and it was, uh, he said he wanted to tell two different storylines in the same story. Gotcha. It was weird. I don't know. He's goofy. Might not get all the books out before he dies, sadly. We'll find out. I'll probably never read the books, though. Yeah, so. probably won't. I don't know. The ending was kind of rough, though. It was. All right, so this quick last topic. I just want to bring up that uh -oh. no... Yeah, this is going to be a pretty good <laughs> one. No lead uh -oh. roles anymore, especially in, like, Star Wars, are straight white males. You know what I mean? Name the last movie you saw with a straight white male. I'm sure there was a straight white male in whatever movie that was. That was the third of a series. Oh, of a new series? Like, a movie come out, or a TV show that comes out, like, two-day straight white male. They're all, you know, Ghostbusters, all women cast. Ocean's 8, all women cast. I guess I don't know. Uh, I gotta think of I'm one now. Saying. I'm gonna think of one. Um, Lucifer. Isn't Lucifer? That new? Um, it's kind of new. It's like four years old now. Oh, okay. Well, um, hmm. There's no way that every single new series is all female. There's the more, well, no, I mean, it could be like African American, it could be oh. female, it could be anything, but like straight white men in movies just ain't flying anymore. And I if mean, there, yeah, I mean, guys. if there is one, there, it's always like offset by like a bunch of other things. It just doesn't happen. I can't like everyone's got to be PC now. So yeah, every it's like <laughs> straight white men aren't PC. We can't have I you know, guys. We're anymore. the most oppressed these days, and well. like some movies, you might be like, oh, well, that's one that has like a straight white male. But like the mass majority, like when I like watch them for the first time or go to the movies and watch them, go to the movies, see the previews. It's gonna be always. It's because we know? have like Lizzo now, so we don't need you guys. Something like we that. We don't need you. I don't know. It's just kind of <laughs> fucked up. 
that's the okay. that's the political climate though so we'll see what happens you know okay so we're gonna wrap it up real quick you know real nice and simple some uh, closing notes trump 2020 we're gonna get another Speaking victory straight white males it's gonna be huge it's gonna be great it's gonna be a landslide victory another landslide vic- landslide victory it's gonna be great all right we're signing <laughs> off i'll see you next tuesday